Okay, uh, what I have here are actually two TVs. I have a 60 inch LG here and a 55 inch over there. As you can pre pretty much see, they're pretty much the same set. Um, both of these sets were manufactured in 2013. Um, this is a 60 LA 8600 and that one is a 55 LA 6900. Okay, it's just small. You see pretty much the same set, uh, same bezel style on the bottom, uh, the same big speaker on the side. And these are edge-lit TVs, uh, which means that they use a different connector. And I'm just going to explain to you what an edge-lit TV is in case you don't know. I actually did a video probably a couple years ago on a 55-inch uh, edge-lit uh, uh, LED TV. Um, this assembly process, and that will explain it probably a little much better. But instead of the typical LEDs in right here in back, right behind the screen, uh, going across this way, uh, they actually use a set of strips, something like this, okay, and I'll just give you a little close-up on how they would actually look up close. Okay, these are all the actual LEDs. Uh, don't worry about the dirt and stuff, they won't look this dirty. That's because uh, this actually melted the little um, screen that's in between. So what they use is a big diffuser screen and the way these are mostly set up is you'll have two strips in most cases and they'll be located at the top like this right next to each other okay and then they'll have a or they'll be located one on each side one on this side of the TV and the other one on this side of the TV and the LEDs will be facing toward each other, okay? And there's a big screen. The first screen is an actual uh, diffuser screen which goes across up to the height of the LEDs and that's what spreads the light evenly across when the LEDs light up, okay? And each of these different, these are different sections on the LED. Like say one line might light this LED to number you know, 30, and then the other line, I like 31, number 31 LED to number 60. Okay, so this is the actual one of the strips. I'm just going to show you how it lights up. Um, we'll just go to one side here, and we'll check that one. That lights up. And we'll just go down the line. Okay. up and obviously this one starts our second line here on this one and this will be a last line okay so um, and like I said, in some cases you'll have actually four of these strips. There'll be two on the top, and then the actual two will be, the other two will be on the bottom of the TV facing inwards. Uh, depends on how bright they want it. Uh, but the way that you check these is they, they won't have the regular um, connections to the power supply. They'll actually, uh, like, you, like you would normally see on a backlit TV, um, this one here uses a separate driver board and that's what the plug looks like. Uh, let me just back up a little bit, okay, so you can see. Okay, so we have our main board here, okay, and the T-Con board down here on the bottom. Okay, and this is our power supply board. In most cases, the power supply will have the connectors for the LEDs, for the backlights, but this one uses a separate driver board, okay, so from a power supply through this plug here, to the driver board for the LEDs, okay, I guess because the strips are longer and, uh, and they do get very hot and they shine very bright, okay, but these are the connectors on the LED driver board to go into the LEDs, and so if you want to check them, you have to check them a little differently. Um, what I used to think, <laughs> okay, was that um, one, was one of the plugs were negative, 
and then one of the plugs were positive. But actually, it's letting you know that this plug will be for this strip, and this plug is for the other strip, like I just showed you with the two strips. And there are our little test points here, uh, which you can actually check each uh, strip, okay, before you even open it up, open the TV up, okay? Now this one here, uses same kind of plug okay alright and the good thing about this plug is actually labeled right on there um, where to put your meter when you're testing each strip and that would be these two plugs here okay and but this plug is on actually on the power supply this doesn't use a separate um, LED driver board okay which is cool okay and like I said, same, pretty much same setup. Just doesn't use a separate driver board. So I'm going to show you how to check uh, each one of these, uh, so you don't get confused <laughs> and get brain, get a brain freeze as soon as you start looking at it. Like, damn, how do I check this? Okay, so I'm actually going to start with this 60 inch TV, uh, the separate driver board. And I'm going to zoom in on the actual plugs that go to the backlights. Okay, and as you can see on each plug, there is a test point. Okay, um, here's our test points. These little uh, gold dots, these are test points for our LEDs. Okay, those going across. And basically, the only thing that you have to do is, first of all, make sure the TV is unplugged. Okay, there's no power going to the TV. And we're just going to take our LED checker and I'm going to use my meter first um, just to let you hear it. Okay, so what we have to the extreme over here is our actual, these are the actual ground points uh, where you can ground your meter or it can go right to chassis uh, that is go to chassis ground okay and so we're going to take our LED checker and we're going to take our negative pin and we can either go right here on either one of these three dots or on chassis ground right there okay and this little dot next to it right here as you can see there's a dot right here for this plug and there's a dot on the other side for this plug. We can actually test the whole entire strip by just putting our meter on this side. Okay. Or on this pin right here, this side. <coughs> so let me zoom out. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> okay. And so I'm going to go ground our meter. And I'm going to go or put it right here. And I'm actually going to go right there. And hopefully you can see that. Come on. It's about 2.23 and we'll keep it on ground and we'll go to this side same thing about 220 230 something like that okay it's probably getting a little interference from the circuit but so and uh, I can actually see a little backlight trying to come up uh, on here actually it's me it doesn't have enough current in it to actually make the Backlights like notice, not like noticeably visible through the back of the TV, uh, but I did see like a little flash or something. So, uh, or I can go to each individual one. Uh, you may get an off reading on each individual one. Um, 
that's okay because like I said it's still connected to the circuit and unfortunately that's the only way you can check it but just check the whole entire strip this side and then the other side okay uh, using just chassis ground or this other side here um, and if you get an open reading on either one of those strips you know you know you have a bad strip uh, pretty much and so now we we'll do the other one the 55 inch Okay, those are our plugs there, and those are actually labeled on the pins. Uh, they don't use the test points here. There, uh, they do use a test point here. As you can see, there is a plug right there. I'm sorry, right here. Two pins. One says negative. The other one says uh, positive, I believe. And we actually check it like this. It's about 178, 180. There you go, so you can see that. Okay, I do see a little, little back lights coming up through the set. Like I said, on the SVT TV, if you don't see a visible, like actual back, back light, but it seems the reading seems to be okay, most likely it's good. Unfortunately, this little cheap meter doesn't push out enough current to actually uh, light the lights up. They use a little more current uh, because they get very hot and very bright. Uh, and if we go to the actual plug, there are actually test points located on the actual pins right here. Okay, as you can see these plugs are actually marked. Okay, there's the LED plus, it's the first pin. Okay, and then there are no connections until we get to the last three pins. There's actually three lines on each LED strip. Okay, and we see one, two, three, those are the last pins uh, to check it with. And on here, same thing. Uh, LED plus is right here as you can see it says LED plus right there okay that's the first pin and then we'll keep our plus lead there our red lead positive lead there and we'll hold on that and check each one of these three lines just four five and six okay so we got one two three on this side four five and six labeled on that side so let's see what we get so I'm gonna actually zoom out So get my meter a little bit closer. And I'm going to take my positive lead, okay, place on the first pin, which is LED, which is labeled LED plus, and then VCC1, which is the end. 68 volts. I'll go to the next pin. And don't worry about shorting anything out because I know the pins are kind of skinny, but it, the TV is off, so. And these are all positive pins. Okay, so, and then we'll try to ease it onto the second pin, which is a little bit shorter. Around 68 volts, 67 volts, close enough. And then our third line, VCC3, 68 volts. Okay, same on this side, we'll put our positive lead where it says LED plus at the very last pin or first pin, however you want to look at it. And then we have BCC four, five, and six. Six is on the end. 68 volts. The next pin, 68 volts. And then the third pin, I'll kind of really touch it there. 68 volts, okay? So we know that our strips are good. Uh, in most cases with these TV sets, um, you will have actually double check the power supply and on this particular one here,
you want to double check those test points uh, I should have mentioned that before and make with your meter okay and make sure that none of these test points are reading short okay check them all before you even test the LEDs check those because I've gotten a few uh, which actually was the driver board and if one of these are shorted uh, most likely it's this transistor as you can see we have um, one two three four five six okay we have six circuits for each line and if there's a short here between here and ground um, you know or here and ground one of those uh, definitely unplug it plug the, unplug the uh, connections recheck them if they're still shorted look at one of these transistors right here good enough there are six lines remember three on each LED and we have one two three four five six that is the feedback circuit for each LED line and if you're reading a short across here most likely uh, this transistor is shorter or one of those little capacitors uh, on each one of these circuits uh, just trace back and see which circuit this goes to um, and you had probably fired your short your problem very easily or just replace the entire board if you can't figure it out um, they're probably about 50 60 bucks no big deal right okay guys well hey thanks for watching um, if you like the video, make sure you give me a like. Make sure that you do subscribe for more videos. And Big Dog is out.